Now, first of all, the most anticipated figure, um, the year-on-year -year GDP growth for the first three quarters of 2024 came in at around 4.8%. Um, now, at the beginning of this year, um, the Chinese government set a target of around, four per, uh, around 5% for its annual GDP growth of 2024. 4.8 is still slightly shy of that, which means right now the pressure is mounting on the fourth quarter to outperform previous figures. Having said that, the um, National Bureau of Statistics says um, the GDP growth so far is still within the expectations of the Chinese government. And also the year-on-year -year GDP growth for each quarter of 2024 um, remained stable, which means that um, the Chinese economy is generally stable. Now, there are a, a, a number of quite good figures that came out across different sectors, including the total value added of industrial enterprises above the designated size growing by 5.8% year on year. The total retail sales of consumer goods went up by 3.3%. The total volume of trading goods increased by 5.3%. And the urban unemployment rate went down by 0.2%. Now, let's look at the real estate sector. This September, the Chinese government rolled out multiple policies to boost its real estate sector, including lowering mortgage rates, easing of home buying restrictions for big cities. Now, some real estate agencies um, have reported a solid increase in home sales um, this October. However, um, the total figure for the first three quarter of 2024 is still in decline. So the total sales of newly built commercial buildings uh, were down 22.7% year on year. Having said, that, having said that, the decline has narrowed in the first eight months. And also, we still do need time to see the newly implemented policies to take effect. Now, the National Bureau of Statistics says says that, that despite facing challenges both at home and abroad, um, the Chinese economy remains sta stable and um, is steadily growing, um, and also that the Chinese government rolled out a series of policies um, in the third quarter uh, covering a wide range of areas, including uh, real estate, private enterprises, consumer spending, and the Bureau says that we are already seeing some positive trends as a result of of these policies and we might be seeing some strong performance in the fourth quarter.